March is National Kidney Month. In fact, next Saturday, March 14th, is World Kidney Day, and my midday guest today is Dr. Larry Lerner. Doctor, thank you for being my here. My pleasure. He is with Nevada Kidney Specialist. He's here to talk about kidney disease in Nevada, and um, tell us how prevalent this is, chronic kidney disease. About 10% of Americans have kidney disease, so it is very common. And what does that mean, to have kidney disease? It means that the kidneys are not filtering the waste products out of our blood properly. And of course, so many people, when that happens, they have to be on dialysis. It's an Correct. entire lifestyle change. Yes, it is. Uh, but we hope that with early diagnosis that we can prevent most of the patients from going on dialysis. Actually, less than about uh, one-tenth of a percent of patients actually go on to dialysis in spite of 10 percent of patients having it. Of course, dialysis, when someone is hooked up to a machine, their blood is filtered in order to provide the function that a kidney usually uh, functions in a normal person's body. And can you sure. talk to us about what you look for? What, what's the onset of chronic kidney disease? Okay. Most people do not realize they have kidney disease because until you virtually have no function, there are virtually no symptoms. Okay. So the two leading causes of kidney disease are diabetes and high blood pressure. So we ask that all patients with diabetes and high blood pressure ask their doctors to be sure at least once a year to draw a chemistry panel that will tell their kidney function. Is that the goal of this month, to create awareness, to make sure that people are asking those questions to doctors? Yes, it is. We prefer that patients get early diagnosis and treatment and slow the progression, if not prevent, going on dialysis because that is the last step. If the kidneys finally fail and are not able to support the life of the patient, they have two options. They have transplant or dialysis. Okay. And so when someone is on dialysis, that obviously requires a lot of care. You're here to talk to us about what that means yes. for someone that's going through that process. Yes. When you are on dialysis, typically it requires three to five hours, three times a week to cleanse the blood. And in the past, uh, Medicare pays for about 85% of the patients on dialysis. Okay. And because of the current structure of Medicare with Part A and Part B, there has not been an integrated system to provide care to these patients. But a new program that my group, affiliated with uh, DaVita Healthcare Partners and Humana Health Insurance, has an integrated program that actually is lower cost than the traditional fee-for-service program and has more benefits. It provides an integrated team of a physician, a nurse practitioner, a case manager. It has a dental benefit, a vision benefit, and better drug coverage. And we hope to improve the quality of care with this program for the patients who do require dialysis. So basically a special needs plan. And of course, we're going to put the information on our website, ktnv.com. Again, the month of March is um, Kidney Disease Awareness Month. So some uh, information there for you on our website as well. That's going to be posted for you. Dr. Lerner, thank you for being a guest on pleasure. Midday. Good to see you. We'll be right back, everyone. Stay with us.